Hey everyone, welcome back to Troy Boy Plays Skyrim. So we made it to Ustengrav in the last episode, um, and we started going through, we made it to the depth, and we are just going to pick up right from where we've left off and check out where we are. Now, wow, that was not planned in the slightest, um, so... <laughs> Let's summon our Scurly Bro, who is still without a name at the moment. And... Why can't you attack him first? Where did he run off to? Oi! Come back here. I'm hiding over there. What does this do? What did that do? That unlock something over here? It did. Okay, um, before I got rudely interrupted, I was about to say I was heading in the opposite way to where it was telling me to for no apparent reason. Um, but this is the way I'd started going. Oh, this is the enchantment thing. Um, we've not actually looked at these yet, so this is the enchanter. So to enchant an item, you must know an enchantment and have a filled soul gem to power the enchantment. Enchantments are learnt by disenchanting or destroying enchanted items. I think we did actually have a, an item we wanted to disenchant. So let's have a look. So we can destroy one of the mage robes. I think I might have just destroyed both of them. Um, can destroy this sword because that's not anything too special. Oh no, we did just destroy one. It's down here. <clears throat> Let's destroy the shield. And that already increased our enchanting. And now we're at level 7, even better. Created potions. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. I don't want to do these two because they're special. Okay. I didn't want those boots, that's fine. Alright. You know what, let's do our level up now, why not? So, I'm going to take some more magic. And... When we levelled up at that last place with all the skeletons, I didn't actually invest a perk into anything, so I'm going to give it a quick pause, have a look at these perks, and we will be right back. Okay, so I've had a little look at the perk trees, and I think I would like to carry on investing in destruction, um, just so we are a little bit more powerful in that aspect. And we're using a lot of fire at the moment, so we may as well go for this tree. So. Uh, that made fire spells and effects, I believe that was 20% more powerful, up to, based on the target's missing health percentage. Now, we need 50 in destruction to be able to unlock the next level, um, but fire spells reduced fire resistance on their targets by 20% for 5 seconds. Let's go for it. Looks like we're going all in on Fire Mage to start with. There we go. I will start investing into the other trees once we get a little bit further, but for now, being able to deal a lot of damage and actually survive is a bit more important for me. Let's 
sie mal so hier. Okay. There's a map give me any indication. We might be near the end of this route, so let's have a look. still heading in the opposite direction, which is not promising. Let's do it. We seem to be blasting through these skeletons a little bit back there. Can we get our... Um... We can. Drag you off of this. nearby. I'm gonna hide over here. I think it's quite cool that items like that affect the pressure plates. Did I get everything in this room? It looks like it. Where am I supposed to be going? You know what, let's do a quick save as well. Oh, 
we found a wall. Let's hold in some words. Fade. Okay. Is there anything? Oh. Take it, but okay, so that must be where this was taking us to, I guess. Hmm. Good to know, means we can get um, back on track. So this is going to call for a little bit of parkour. I use the turn very lightly. Oh. There we go. I'll just wait for that to re- I could probably make that. Nope. Wrong. to a level, I suppose. Let's try that again. So we'll jump onto this one. And we will wait on this one. Every time I say we're going to get back on track, I get distracted. Um, if I will win down, will I? Thought that was going to launch me off the edge then. <laughs> Very glad we invested into some fire magic. So, what am I supposed to be doing now? Ah. 
I'm supposed to get through it all really fast. So if I run... Nope. That's not the wrong button, because I'm still sneaking, that's why. Boom. Nailed it. plates. And cobwebs. Burnt. Oh, there's more. Let's see if I can bow them. There's anything I can do about that. Is any more going to come out at me? <laughs> yep, definitely. Oh no, magic one. Stop it, stop it, stop it. It's... Everybody just breathe. <laughs> oh, get it away from me. I don't even think that were a massive one. Okay. Oh no, maybe it was, because that's a little one, look. See, I, I didn't overreact. That was a perfectly normal reaction to what was happening. Okay. Summon our skelly brown. What is happening? It seems like a wonderful place to save it.
on a serious note. Dragonborn, I need to speak to you urgently. Rent the attic room at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood and I'll meet you. A friend. Somebody stole our horn. And they didn't even kill the massive spider face. Well, nothing else I can take, right? So, necromancers, bandits, and Draugr, and yet we were still beaten to it. Increase light armor skill by 12 points. Okay. Welkin stone completely restores magicka. Nice. Uh, and take all of this gold that they've left lying around. Empty, empty. What did you have? One of this? Hopefully this is the shortcut that takes us all the way back to the entrance, that'd be nice. Wait. I think I already pillaged this room. Yep. Okay, let's get out of here then and uh, find out who stole our horn. Still think I'm in there. Here we go. So Riverwood. Over here somewhere? This one. So we've got a bit of time left. We can see who it was. Put the magic away. And it was a sleeping giant inn it wanted me to go to. Good day, friend. Keeping well? I'm spoken for, you know. Yes, Don't scare me out here. <laughs> Need something? Come on in. We'll stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. You're that visitor been poking around. So you say I have to go to the attic room. Mysterious note. From the attic room. I'm the innkeeper. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room, but you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. The one on the left. Okay. There's an eye room. So you're the dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. Not another one. I think you're looking for this. We need oh. to talk. Thanks. Follow me. <laughs> How did she get it? 
Nothing to see here. Close the door. I don't like the way this is going. Magic. Mm, this stuff I can take. Some of those books have quests in them, so I just like to open them. Hi. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. The right. I hope they're right. Surprise. I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. What's with all the cloak you and dagger? You can't be too careful. Thalmor spies are everywhere. What do you want I with me? I didn't go to all this trouble on a whim. I needed to make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I didn't say you were in, but I don't know what you want. Hear me out. I'm like listening. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you, for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. Um, why are you looking for us? Don't, that the Dragonborn is the ultimate dragon slayer. You're the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? Absolutely. Good. And you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. Yes. Okay. We're very old enemies. And if my suspicions are correct, they might have something to do with the dragons returning. But that isn't important right now. What is important is that you might be dragonborn. I am. Stop saying mine. Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. Okay. I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty, and I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Oh, sounds easy. Kynes Grove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. Okay. I can't wait around for you to make up your mind. I'll meet you at Kynes Grove. Don't waste time getting there. Okay. So, I seem to remember. That was quick. That's better. Let's get on the road to Kynesville. Yeah, let's do that. I'm just going to borrow some stuff first. I seem to think I can put things into this chest and they won't disappear. Some of the chests in Skyrim reset. Um, I don't want to be carrying all this stuff around. You, you. Pop you in there. Now let's organise this by weight. No, I don't need the studded armour. All these robes. I do want some of these potions. Her voice carries, doesn't it? A Nordic totem spirit. Not 
I'm gonna take all this. That was just lying around. Good find. Awkward. I thought the door was shut. Not gonna grass up me, are you? Uh, Sven, I would just like to remind you that snitches get stitches. You look like a traveler. Someone that has seen get out of my way. <clears throat> okay, well, that looks like the perfect place to wrap this one up. So, um, I am going to stop right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment and just let me know uh, if there's any other games you'd like to see me play on the channel. Next time we're going to meet Delphine at Kind Grove and see if we can't stop a dragon from coming back to life. Um, but once again, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.